I am standing here on the Fairfield Main Road. We're on Thursday, the 13th day of January 2022. Nine-year-old Gabriel King's life was taken away. His body was found with his throat slashed in a blue Audi SUV. Since that time, the team of investigators, they have employed a range of technological, forensic, and cyber strategies in attempting to make a breakthrough in this case. We've collected statements. We've even brought an expert on a motor vehicle of the exact make and model to the one young Gabriel was killed in on that day. Based on what was reported to us, the crime scene was reenacted. Several case conferences were conducted by the detectives. Earlier on this year, my detectives made an application for a production order pursuant to Section 21 of the Cyber Crimes Act for the mother of the deceased to give permission to have access to her cell phone. That cell phone has been in the custody of the police since January when this murder took place. On the 6th of September 2022, the production order was granted by the parish judge, stating that within 48 hours, of the service of the order that the key and communication cell site and other data surrounding the phone be handed over for the purpose of the criminal investigation into the murder of Gabrielle King. Through her lawyers, she is now challenging the order made on September 6. This key aspect of the investigation is subjudicate and as such, I will refrain from discussing that aspect at this time. Investigations are time sensitive and the shelf life of some forms of evidence is limited. We were able to close a thousand case in three weeks through hard work, cooperation, and support from our citizens and persons close to the investigation. I would say that from the day of this murder,